What's up, pen people? Pen Gangster here, and guess what? It's about two weeks till Mother's Day. And since we're all doing this whole lockdown quarantine thing, it's not exactly easy to get out of the house, go buy a card. Um, I mean, you can order a gift for your mom, have it sent to her, but there's still nothing quite as good as sending a Mother's Day card to your mother for Mother's Day. Of course, since some of us can't get out of the house and make it to the store, why not make your own? So today I'm gonna to show you how to draw a long stem rose. So to create this drawing, I'll be using all four of my Peniter Avatar UR pens. And they're all inked with different colored inks. I've paired all my pens with these fabulous Monteverde inks. Be sure to grab a pencil, an eraser, and also some fountain pen friendly paper to complete this project. Let's get started. Grab your sheet of paper and fold it in half. Then get a pencil and lightly draw an egg shape. Follow that by a half circle and then another half circle in the opposite direction, followed by a swirl in the middle. Then we're gonna connect all these using lines. And then the center of our rose is finished. Next, let's make our first petal, which will wrap around the center of the rose. We're gonna continuously draw petals of the rose that will wrap around the center of the egg. It might look weird right now, all these weird shapes, but eventually everything will connect and it will look like a rose. Now we've just made several outer petals, but we're continuously working these petals down towards the bottom. I've noticed that my egg shape, I would like it to be a little bit longer, and so I adjusted that. Next, grab your eraser and start erasing that egg shape that appears in between the petals. After you're done with that, get your pencil and we're going to work on the leaves and the stem. Your leaves don't have to be perfect, just make them a little organic looking and that way it'll match as if the rose has just grown and blossomed. For the stem, you might want to add a couple of thorns. And then from that stem, let's draw some leaves by just using a natural elongated line and then draw a leaf shape. Now let's grab our red inked pen and just start outlining all of the petals that we drew with the pencil earlier. Don't worry if the pencil shows through the red ink, it actually will blend in just fine when you're finished. Next, grab your cup of water and your paintbrush. And since this ink isn't water resistant, we're gonna go ahead and use those lines to color in or fill in the petals of the rose. By doing this, it'll leave the petals of the rose light enough where we can go back in later and fill in some of that color.
Now, while that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and get our pen filled with green ink and start outlining the leaves and the stem. At the tip of each leaf, be sure to leave a little bit of ink marks and that way we can blend it into the leaves. Now let's take the green ink pen and make marks along the left side of the stem. That will create a nice shadow and make it look a little more realistic. Now let's get our paintbrush and water and we'll start to take that green ink and spread it around inside the stem and the leaves. Next, let's get our red inked pen and let's go back in and re outline the flower. Fill in some of those areas that might be naturally dark, such as some of the shadows behind the petals. At the bottom of the rose, with the outer petal underneath the blossom, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make that a darker red. I'm also going to create some shading and shadows underneath some of the petals. That way it'll have a more realistic effect. Next, take the pen that has blue ink. Go ahead and outline the left side of the stem. And then when you're done with that, go to the leaves and make kind of a, a zigzaggy pattern along the edges, just like a rose leaf would have. Now flip your pen, we're going to do a little reverse drawing. We're going to use the reverse of the nib to make the lines of the leaves to give it a little patterning. Reverse writing helps to make finer lines. Now take your pen inked with a dark gray or black ink and we're going to do some further outlines to the rose, but we're also going to blend it in as well in a way to create natural shading. We'll do this throughout the rose, and that way it'll make it look like it's rounded onto the stem. The key is to blend, blend, blend. Take your paintbrush and spread the ink around using water.
once we get towards the center of the rose, put in a little extra shadow in order to create a little more depth within the center of the rose. And then take your wet paintbrush and spread that dark ink around. Now your rose is complete. Open up your card and on the inside, let's write Happy Mother's Day. And then we'll follow that with some photography, adding a little depth to those letters and making it look really nice. When we're done with that, let's draw a big old heart and fill that in with red ink. And you could pretty much write after that, love whoever you are and give it to your mom. Thanks so much for joining me to make this card for your mother for Mother's Day making a nice long stem rose. Send her a flower and make her happy. Be sure to send it to her and hope that, well, let's just hope your drawing's good enough to put a smile on her face. Thanks a lot for watching, and that's how the ink flows.